So hello everyone. Today we see some more examples of a calculation of oxidation number. Okay. Let's see. For example, in NH three, so we have to find out the N. Next. And to H four. And to O five. N3H. So the calculate the oxidation number of nitrogen in these compounds. Okay. So nitrogen take X three hydrogen. So hydrogen we know that's one. It's a neutral molecule zero. Like we'll call X equal minus three. So oxidation number of nitrogen is minus three. Here two nitrogen two X four hydrogen four into one overall zero. Minus four x equal minus two means nitrogen also shows minus three, minus two also. Here two nitrogen two x plus five oxygen means sir. Uh, generally oxygen having minus two number. Okay, five into minus two overall zero. The two x. This five. So it is a maximum oxidation number of nitrogen. Because nitrogen having valence electron five, covered then it will keep plus five extra of the charge left. So N three H three X plus one three X equal minus one X equal minus one by three. Means uh, here we have to remember the oxidation state of an element in the compounds may be positive, may be negative, or it may be in fractions also. Free element to the already we know that it's a zero one. Means based on the uh, molecular compound, it may exhibit a positive, negative, or sometimes fraction oxidation state also. It is the best example for that. Okay. So next, uh, we see some more examples. That is NH four and O three. It is a total different compound. So NH four and O three. So one other different compound is there. That is Fe three O four. You can iron find out. So you can nitrogen find out. So actually, what is the difference of this compound? And that actually the name. So for direct cut two X, this compound now they split chair. But how to know it? We have to remember. So it is actually the combination of these two ions. E nitrogen, E nitrogen. Now separate the calculate chair. So this is X plus four hydrogen one overall charge into the kada overall charge power one only okay. So X equal to one minus four X equal minus three. So then separate calculate that X plus three into minus two overall charge. So this power minus is not on the oxygen, not on the nitrogen. This is on the total N O three. Here also this plus one is not on the nitrogen, not on the four hydrogen. It is overall charge is plus one. It is X minus six equal minus one. Equal how much? So plus five. So what are the oxidation numbers of nitrogen in that uh, ammonium nitrate? Is so minus three comma five. Okay. Next, see Fe three O four. So Fe three O four law. So, एक तरफ मान के three choices होने दें calculate चलें तो normal का मान हम three x plus sorry four into minus two overall zero three x minus eight equal zero eight x equal to eight by three okay we can do like this but based on options मान multiple choices तो maybe eight by three उनका कोच there is also other possibilities so what are other possibilities of this is a Actually, it is taken into two parts. FeO plus Fe2O3. So then, the two parts will be considered this time. So Fe3O4. So X oxygen minus two. So X equal to two. Uh, here it is two uh, X minus six equal zero three into minus two. Okay. Means the oxidation numbers are two comma three.
see some more examples uh, for example it is also very important one so bleaching powder so bleaching powder so we know the uses of bleaching powder okay so it is uh, to kill the germs it is used in the water okay it's called bleaching powder what is the chlorine oxidation state so now I calculated them so calcium second group so plus 2 O minus 2 it is 2x overall power 0 so that is 2x equal 0 so x equal 0 so the overall oxidation nothing but oxidation number under 0 so actually here it is also given sometimes minus 1 comma plus 1 so from 0 comma to minus 1 plus 1 right click it up so actually it is if you see its structure it is like this this is CaO Cl2 so the chlorine which is connected to the electronegative electronegative element it shows plus one number so the chlorine which is connected to the electro positive number positive element it shows minus one so when I two combined the two x is one calculate this thing but we got zero but sometimes on side is also given minus one plus one so it is also correct so next uh, in sulfuric acid so sulfur next we calculate uh, other one H2SO5 here also sulfur so calculate the oxidation number of sulfur in these two compounds we know it's the name of this compound sulfuric acid so no need to write again Alpha plus 6 oxidation set is okay. But in H2SO5, so if for example, general characterization of 2 plus X oxygen minus 10, here it will get 8. But sulfur, as we see in its valence electrons, uh, only 6. But you, you got, uh, we got 8 means it is not correct one. Okay, very wrong in calculation, it's exactly correct, but X got 8. The sulfur oxidation 8 is possible, it is not possible because. Uh, it is having only six electrons. So it's the six electrons are lose the plus six out of it. So cavity it is not possible. So so what the difference is actually its name is peroxy monosulfuric acid. Peroxy monosulfuric acid, and it is also known as caros acid. Caros acid. So sulfur final chain 2 plus X. So what is the speciality of this component? It is having one peroxy bond. One peroxy bond, and already we said that uh, O single bond O is called peroxy bond. The oxygen oxidation number minus 1 minus 1. So it can H2S to so for low one peroxy bond only. So one peroxy bond and take the two oxygen are having minus 2. So plus 2 oxygen are having sorry minus 1. Next remaining uh, remaining three oxygen normal that is minus two. Your x equal six. Okay, so it is important uh, to know the how the peroxy bond is uh, so present in it. So how it exists in caros acid and there. This is a H2SO5. So here, so here this is called peroxy bond. This is a peroxy bond on a two oxygen scape minus one. So remaining three oxygen, normal oxygen scape, 
माइनस टू माइनस टू माइनस टू सो थ्री ऑक्सीजन की माइनस टू सो टू ऑक्सीजन की पेराक्सी वन होने का बट वे टेकिंग दट माइनस वन सो दिस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ हेल्थ टू एस फो फाइव सो इधे मोडल्लो वी हेव वन मोर कॉम्पौंड So it also have one peroxy bond. Its name is peroxy disulfuric acid. It's also known as Marshall's acid. Marshall's acid. Sulfur. So two into one. One peroxy bond means two oxygens having minus one. So remaining six oxygen normally minus two. One peroxy bond. So we have to remember. So how what is this structure means? Uh, here see how many peroxy bonds are present. So we can see there is a uh, two peroxy bonds are present. Sorry, only one peroxy bond, two oxygens. So minus one, minus one. There is a two into minus one. Remaining one, two, three, four, five, six. Remaining six are having normal oxygens minus two. Okay. So next, uh, we have one more example. Chromium peroxide. So find it for chromium. So we must we must know the chromium peroxide having two peroxy bonds. So two peroxy bonds. So that means we must know how many it means chromium. So one double bond. O. So here one peroxy bond between two oxygens. So if I want to choose an example, so only one peroxy bond. But in this example, there is Two peroxy bond, just like butterfly structure and everything. Okay, two peroxy bonds are present. Two peroxy bonds, and uh, so this O minus one, this O minus one, this oxygen both. I mean, four oxygen are having minus one. It is only the normal oxide, so that is only having minus two number means plus four oxygens minus one, just one oxygen minus two. Means the chromium number is plus six. Okay. So, my A compound lo peroxy bond or the A compound lo peroxy bond le dente. So, just on studies only we will get just for a compound. Chura ka unknown compound jo si dal peroxy bond na ni it is not possible. It is not uh, easy to know uh, peroxy bond is present in a compound. So, mamal ka mana ki. So different examples is there. We have to remember in which peroxy bonds are present. Take 
take uh, C six H twelve O six. You know this what is the name? So what is the name of this compound? It's a glucose or fructose. And the glucose and the fructose and the both are having same names. So glucose formula same. Fructose formula is also same. Uh, next uh, we see. So it is a glucose. Our fructose, which we have to write this only. Next, uh, C twelve H twenty to O eleven. So what is this? It is called sucrose. Sucrose. Even we can say maltose. Maltose formula would be same. Even we can say lactose. Lactose. So it is not the same formula. So calculate the carbon oxidation number here. Six x plus two into one. Six oxygens minus two equals zero. Overall, it's not zero, brother. Take two uh, x plus twenty two into one plus eleven into minus two overall charge zero. Means in glucose, fructose, sucrose, maltose, lactose, in all these compounds, uh, carbon is having zero oxidation state. So if I mean different bonds form, this time would have overall uh, oxidation number becomes zero. See next. So this is the carbon compound. So here also carbon oxidation number. So we need to have two parts this system. So how we do shift uh, split it means uh, CH3 plus CH4 minus two parts split this shell. Otherwise we will get uh, so combined arms are out too. But actually uh, this is the original form. So one, so one O minus two is minus one. So x equals x equals zero. Means oxidation number is minus two comma zero. Overall, just we will get two x. Okay, see that two x minus four. So now we have combined state to change to that. Okay, combine the two carbons to that two x plus four hydrogen four into one equal zero. Two x so plus two equal zero. So two carbons to that two x four hydrogens one oxygen will get minus two equal zero. Two x plus two equal zero. Two x equal minus two. So x equal to minus one. Each carbon is having like a minus one oxidation number. So here also like a minus two comma zero. So like a oxidation state that the problem is that like minus one minus one becomes minus two comma zero. Okay. Now, now we see oxidation state of uh, some ions. H four plus. What is the name of this ion? Ammonium ion. So nitrogen five or seven. Ammonium ion. Four into one. So what is the overall charge? Overall charge one plus one. Uh, 
So next, uh, sulfate as for four minus two. So sulfate and know what is a sulfur? What is overall charge? Minus two. That's what is in oxalate ion C2O4 minus 2 oxalate here are two carbons so two this overall charge Means each carbon, okay, x equal to each carbon is having plus 3 oxidation state. Okay, next uh, one more. Already we done that uh, dichromate ion. Okay, potassium dichromate. Already we done Cr2O7 minus 2 dichromate ion. Overall charge minus two. Are you be done in a K two Cr two S and potassium dichromate on a potassium this is the will get Cr two S and minus two. It's the same. So this is very important and simple easy topic so it is useful in the uh, total redox reaction chapter based on oxidation state which are oxidation reactions which are reduce the reaction so other definitions now the main useful is the oxidation number concept is helpful in the calculating oxidation number okay so now we see one more compound Na2S4O6 So, what is the sulfur oxidation state? So, two sodiums, no doubt, one. So, 10 by 4, it is uh, average 5 by 2. Sodium thiosulfate. Sodium thiosulfate. Uh, what's its number? So that's all the vegan bleaching powder. So next uh, so Ki3. What is the iodine oxidation number? So what a potassium and get chiceled because potassium low there is no change, it is fixed one. It's not a potassium low other than plus one very little. So compared to potassium one plus three x overall zero. So three x equal minus one. So x equal minus one by three. So next
one more important one H3PO5. So H3PO, what is the name of this compound? Is peroxyphosphoric acid. So peroxy. So it is also having one peroxy bond. So only I said that we have to remember uh, these compounds. Except five oxygen, one peroxy bond will turn two oxygens minus one. Remaining three oxygens normal minus two. So three plus x minus two minus six. Here three. Sorry. Okay. So three plus x. So it is the maximum oxidation number of phosphorus as phosphorus has five valency electrons. So, so can you guess? Uh, can you write the structure of H3PO5? So try to uh, write the structure of H3PO5 now. So H3PO5, that is just like a H2SO5, H2SO5 and H3PO5, okay, H3 are there, H3 and R will have only two hydrogens, so two hydrogens, uh, it's like H3PO5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 oxygens, three hydrogens, so, so here it is the peroxy bond, the Two are having minus one numbers, so remaining three are having minus two numbers. Okay, so next, uh, minus two, minus two. So take another example: potassium chlorate. What is the CL oxidation number? 1 plus X or 5. Okay. So, means uh, CL. So, it's an important one. CL general is 17th group element, but it shows minus 1 oxidation. It's common oxidation number. Chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Low. So, they have uh, they belong to 17th group. And nothing but seven the end. They have seven valency electron in its outermost shell. So Kavati by taking one electron they become a stable. So Kavati minus minus one common oxidation number. But based on the compound, so a compound form is a time low. So depending on other atoms, they may show some positive oxidation number also. So fluorine can there is no other choice minus one. But chlorine shows uh, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven oxidation state also. Very rare cases, it also shows uh, uh, sorry, positive plus one. Oh, that is a uh, have a hypochlorous acid. So hydrogen one, oxygen minus two. Sorry. Means uh, so chlorine shows a uh, plus one oxidation state also plus five also. Next uh, in bleaching point it has a zero. Uh, so so next uh, tomorrow we see the some more uh, different examples. Okay, you have to practice uh, the these questions. Okay. So tomorrow we see the or different examples.